Recently, I came across a piece titled, Jimmy Carter Now Powers Half of His Hometown with Solar Panels. As the author of the piece explained, Jimmy Carter was the first U.S. president to put solar panels on the White House in 1979. Back then, it was a symbolic gesture, a hope that this strange alternative energy would one day pan out. It can be just a small part of one of the greatest and most exciting adventures ever undertaken by the American people, he said at the time. Nearly four decades later, the promise of solar energy has arrived, and Carter is taking full advantage of its potential. Earlier this year, he commissioned Soul America to create a solar farm on 10 acres of his land in his hometown of Plains, Georgia. Today, that farm is supplying half of his town's electricity needs. It's expected to supply the 1.3 megawatts of electricity annually, the equivalent of burning 3,600 tons of coal. And that's not all. Carter went ahead and had 324 solar panels installed on the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library, which will provide about 7% of the library's energy. Distributed clean energy generation is critical to meeting growing energy needs around the world while fighting the effects of climate change, Carter said in a press release. I am encouraged by the tremendous progress that solar and other clean energy solutions have made in recent years and expect those trends to continue. Carter's projects won't power the world, but they show that individuals can invest in small ways to generate energy. Collectively, these individual projects have the potential to transform energy grids around the world. So, this is a really cool story, and it's symbolic of what we as a world need to do. We need to convert our energy system to 100% clean renewable energy, and we need to do it now. The scientific community has made it very clear that climate change is real, and that we need to get our act together quickly. Otherwise, we figure to do catastrophic damage to our people and our planet. So, again, it was really cool to come across this story because it's symbolic of what we as a people need to do, in that we need to convert our energy system to 100% clean renewable energy, and that we need to do it now.